I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax. Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. And it was good to be back in the gym. That ass. Put your weight in your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well, being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. Mm. But I ain't even did my intro yet. All right, motherfuckers, we back. Fight night champion. Let's get back into it. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? Ooh. Supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you mean? Raymond, get out of the ring. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Yep. Hmm. My, my stamina low. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, don't try to. Oh. I just look at look at this game. I just missed like three punches. I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we we were. I was sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? I'm gonna spar him, Tom. Bar's camp starts in two weeks.
Dude, he can't even mess with me. Like, it look like you... Still on no difficulty where everybody is gonna be action. I'm just, I got some decent at the game. Bro, get off me, bro. Guard the body, that's why. Oh, stop. Oh, Ronnie. First one. Go finally. That boy head too too heavy. I knew he couldn't get up. You want to see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help. I still want to be your manager, Andre. How does your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his hey. blood. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough. But it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, like, when I, when I first played this, when I was, like, younger, I saw that tattoo he had on his back. That's what made me want to get tattooed. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters mm -hmm. say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. You just give me the, you trying to give me the body, y'all. Well, you tell me. You know what both of these guys bring to the table. You see them in front of you. This fight, there it is. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down, and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old time was Come on, get up. I know you ain't done. Nice work on the right hand by Andre Bishop. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away. You use insect repellent. Well, you're on the what a big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, 
Can he rise up and continue on? Ali. We only like 10 minutes later. Let's go, man. Andre Bishop, man. He back. He back, man. Back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again. Stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun hey, touting Frost as one of, somebody. if not the not greatest bad. champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. The Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City is home to our boxing car tonight. And it's headlined by a heavyweight clash. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. This is just the second fight at heavyweight for the former middleweight prospect, the American Andre Bishop. Tonight, Bishop will face Raul Castillo. And he oh, just holds on me, there. He just brings on up. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher. But if you're one of the two trainers, what do you think? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I could be a little bit better on defense, my power is not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Andre Bishop needs to get away from these body shots. He is taking a lot of punishment from Castillo. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Hits him in the butt. Raul Castillo. Wow. He just went down. The infighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, Maybe he's paying the ultimate price. One, two, three, four, five. Castillo's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Bishop's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Bro, he's just draining all my energy. Good double jab by Andre Bishop. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. He's just holding me. Bishop has to change things here. He cannot continue on taking that many body punches. Quick snapping oh, hook, and it does damage. Oh, I that's got to hurt. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought Let's it was shoot. a bad thing earlier Let's for him. Shoot. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how low. steady he will be on those legs. Well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control that right now. Mm. Right now, he has to think about defense. Flush right hand to the head. Andre Bishop's combination Damn, punching Please, is working well here. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Castillo. And now just oh, wasting away man. some time with that clinch. Right to the head with that right. Bishop's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water. Did you see that? Can he get up ah, from this? Please. He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Castillo's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. 
Bro, he just likes to hold me, bro. Like That's nice work by Bishop there landing the left hand. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Throws out the jab and then brings back the uppercut up top. Oh, look at him. He just smashed him with that solid knockdown again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? One, Legs are two, like wet noodles. Three, four, five. So the heavyweight version of Andre Bishop is just as powerful as the middleweight version. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. I feel like he should. I, would, I wish he could have kept that. Well, 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 will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work. You too, Gus. Step up, kid. This next guy is a legit top 20 heavyweight. Now, people still think that you can't hang with the big guy. They think that uh, you're just a blown up middleweight. Well, I say, fuck him. People say that I'm just maybe a, a crazy old man. And if you think about it, maybe they're right. Maybe I am just a crazy old man. But you know something? It isn't what people think, Andre. In boxing, it's about what you know. What you know in your gut. What you know in your heart. And I, I know in my this. heart, <laughs> you got what it takes. And I know in your heart, you know you got what it takes. When you come right down to it, all that matters is heart. Bro, I was still mid move of the other move. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Here's what you should be looking for here at the start of round number two. How much is Andre Bishop using that right hand? Because it appeared that he severely injured it, if not broke it there in that first round. Well, one of the things he has to do, Joe, is make sure that nobody other than us knows that he hurt that hand. He's got to go out there and not show his opponent that that's bothered him. Use the left hand. Maybe every once in a while, fake like you're going to throw the right hand so your opponent doesn't know, doesn't take advantage of that fact. And look at how much he's favoring things now. Utilizing the left hand much more. Andre Bishop not coming with that typical right hand power we're used to seeing. Now I gotta fight him one hand. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Body shot lands with the right. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it up. Boom, left hand comes home. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, he's, wow. And Bishop goes down.
He's been here before. He knows what to do. This is nothing new to Bishop. He's been down in life and inside the ring, and he's gotten up. He knows how to behave. He's been in those circumstances outside the ring, and that will serve him right here. Where's the five? And there's the left hand working well for him again. Another big shot comes in. Andre Bishop is on the receiving end of a power shot that scored the knockdown. Hurry, get up! Like they know I was gonna beat his ass with my thing move all the way. Look at I got a cut. Good job, man. Let's go. Bishop in a tough spot right here. He just got decked. Now, the problem with a fighter who's been confident and been the boss throughout his career is that, you know, he's not used to... Big, he big shot he just scored with. Can Why is he moving that? like that? What like, a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. I understand and those you are the ones stunned, you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones like that you are can most move backwards. The ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training like once for Once he gets to the point, I have to stay in the middle. some guts. Andre Bishop is damaging himself every time he throws that right hand. He is in serious pain. If Meldrick Johnson can't beat this version of Andre Bishop, what does that say? Because there's no doubt about it, Bishop has hurt that right hand. He's winning this fight with just his lead hand. Let him go. Hey, hey, let's go. He comes Keep back with moving. the left hand again. Keep moving. Close the chin. Watch the hook. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good word by Meldrick Johnson. Bishop's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on. And he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Good job with another left hand. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Good work defensively by Andre Bishop. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Now you know why a lot of folks like this heavyweight version of Andre Bishop. Look at what he can do with that left hand. And we come to the end of the round. He's gonna, we're going to sleep. Johnson's banged around by a big uppercut. Good, solid right hand by Johnson. Oh! He hit me on my side. Gonna go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Andre team. Bishop showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. There's another one. Oh, and there you go. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Okay. I can't even get up. So all eyes at the start of round number two now are on the right hand of Andre Bishop. Remember, our video replay Ow. showed clearly that he hurt that right hand in round number one. But how much will he use it here? That would give us the ultimate confirmation. Bro, what is this? Solid. Is this the end for Andre Bishop Bro, now? He has some is... questions to answer. After being I'm acting like he drunk punch. when, like the first Bishop couple seconds of stunned. Yeah, but will right. he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. He's gonna come in aggressive. Now appears reluctant to throw that right hand. He's coming in so aggressive. He 
Truman is so aggressive. And now another left. They focused on the inside. Move your head. Move those feet. Mahapa. Finish with the hook. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck at home. And bang, and away he goes. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Well, this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before he's gotten up to. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring. And he is thinking of that right now, have? believe me. Oh, that should be a flash, man. A flash knockout. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Uppercut. Uppercut! Cover up! Cover up! Andre Bishop is in a bad spot right now. He is damaged. If I'm Bishop, I clinch. I tie up. I just hug that big tree opposite me. And that's the end of round two. Ah, good. Looking good. Swollen sun. Andre Bishop's got to do something different. A start to a new round. Maybe the start to a new beginning in this fight. Because what we've seen so far, it's been nothing at all for him. Johnson's got seemingly in control and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, he Joe, that is really like what's the enemy of yeah, his right now. Is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up and bang. This is one of the most impressive gutsy displays we've ever seen oh, out of oh, Andre oh, Bishop. It is oh, absolutely oh, certain to me now that he hurt that right hand. He's completely a one-armed fighter right now, just utilizing Keep that left jam. against Meldrick Johnson. Johnson's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. He engages in the clinch. Fires off the hook. Look at that. You remember when Andre Bishop was a big shot? He just fought the other guy's fight. And now, it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. And there's the left hand working well for him again. The perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Just absorbing a hook. He comes back with the left hand again. No, he won. Solid right by Johnson. Oh, what a hook by Andre Bishop. Unload. More punches. Precision work with the left hand by Andre Bishop. And that's where he wants his man opposite him, right against the ropes. What impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop. Good 
job with another left Focus. hand. Focus! What a forceful hook to the body by Andre Bishop. Why don't you just drop him? Relax, relax. Double up when you punch. Cut this rain off. And he ties up on the man. inside. Oh, you got this one. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Keep moving. And Keep a sharp moving. hook by Andre Bishop. Johnson's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. No, he did it there no. well. You got good punch, huh? I want the Look combinations. The you land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking An cool. interesting footnote to what we're it's seeing here tonight with Andre out, Bishop. Man. We showed you the replay earlier where it appeared that he hurt his right hand in the first round. The word we're getting is that those in the know say he actually had injured that hand during his prison stay. A solid left hand by Andre Bishop. This is becoming like a crime scene here. Johnson's DNA is splattered throughout that ring. And you know it's going to influence the fight. Not only where maybe he gets a little discouraged, he gets a little down, but maybe his opponent, and there's a big maybe, maybe he gets a little careless now going in there for the kill. And maybe that could be an opportunity for him. Andre Bishop, with only his left hand as his real weapon, just isn't landing it at all. You can actually see how heavy Bishop is breathing right now. He's desperate to get some air into those lungs. He better close that mouth before he's desperate to get his jaw wide. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. And now he digs in with that hook to the body. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Good-looking uppercut that time. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Get off me. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Breathe now. Breathe through your lungs. Very good. Where is it written that you need to win a fight with both your left and your right? Bishop is doing a beautiful job of boxing well, moving, and sticking that left hand and scoring. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Cut right on the mark. Every time Andre Bishop throws that right hand, he winces. He is in serious pain. An armor piercing hook to the body by Meldrick Johnson. Halfway through round six. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. That is a sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. A stabbing right hand by Johnson. And now another left. Protecting his head well with his guard. You see him holding on. Stop holding. You're doing great. Comes across with a hook up top. He 
got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort. Oh, a big shot comes oh. home for him. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Let's go. Are they really trying to? Focus. Two, I was up. This wasn't the best Andre Bishop we saw tonight. Here's what you should be looking for here at the start of round number two. How much is Andre Bishop using that right hand? Because it appeared that he severely injured it, if not broke it there in that first round. Well, one of the things he has to do, Joe, is make sure that nobody other than us knows that he hurt that hand. He's got to go out there and not show his opponent that that's bothering him. Use the left hand, maybe every once in a while fake like you're gonna throw the right hand so your opponent doesn't know, doesn't take advantage of that fact. And look at how much he's favoring things now. Utilizing the left hand much more. Andre Bishop not coming with that typical right hand power we're used to seeing. Andre Bishop, when he was in his prime, he always had a very good left hand as a middleweight. Now he's showing he can do some damage with it as a heavyweight. Way through this round. Looks to the head. Johnson's cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Well, then supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. How about that left hand? Great hook to the head that time. There's another left hand from him. Good flush shot upstairs. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was absolutely battered right there. The one thing he's got to do is stay away from that. Look at that! He goes down! Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? flash knockouts. Everybody else get knocks out first Kenny round. Bishop beats the count, the only but person look to you. He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. Way to go! And it goes holes. Committed to that left hand and it's working out. Now this is amazing to me because there's no doubt in my mind that Andre Bishop has severely injured that right hand. He's a one-armed fighter right now, just utilizing that left hand. And here's the stunner. I think he's beating Meldrick Johnson with just that left hand. Andre Bishop's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Now you hold on me, bro. Oh, holding right, me. Right, Let right. me go. What a great job. He gave one right back in right. return. Keep nice moving. work by Meldrick Johnson. Boy, that worked out well with the He's uppercut. Still not moving enough. Move. Move. Turns over that hook upstairs. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Come on, kid. Focus. Cover up. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. That's a big flush punch landing on a big shot there. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Three, four, five. Get up. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. Well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded oh, fighter. And he has to control that right now. Right now, he has to think about defense.
Chrissy's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you're starting to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Johnson's big, big <laughs> shot comes crashing home. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. And there's the left hand working well for him again. There it is! Andre oh. Bishop rocked by that power punch. Man. Bishop is down. Get up, get up. Two, three, four, Come on, five, get to your feet. They're giving them all flash knockouts, so. Andre Bishop still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you gotta do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't wanna go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Keep your distance. He comes back with the left hand again. Unload. I want to use my right just to stun him. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Andre Bishop's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe. There's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. And here's a little insight we're getting from our ringside researcher. He says that Andre Bishop actually had a previous injury to that damaged right hand. And get this, Teddy, it happened during his prison term. Able to land the hook to the head. This is one of the most impressive gutsy displays we've ever seen out of Andre it Bishop. Relax, it is absolutely relax. certain to me now that he hurt that right hand. He's completely a one-armed fighter right now, just utilizing that left against Meldrick Johnson. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time, he found it, he saw it, he gave it. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. See how he targets that hook? This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. Scores big with the hook to the head. What's the body? Good job with another left hand. Left to the body. Andre Bishop's in desperate need of an adjustment here. His style is not conducive to this fight turning around right now. These middle rounds are not being won by a brawling style. No, not at all. If he had a physical guy in front of him, he'd get away with it. But he's got a technician in front of him. A guy who's just taking him apart, little by little. And now another left. Case Combo yourself. lands to the head. Meldrick Johnson's body. tagged by a huge hook to the body. Okay. Pay him back. And a flush hook lands by Andre Bishop. Hey, look at Three. me. I don't even look like I'm in touch. I look Three. good on my eyes, man, but I'm good. You gotta get off. The start of the sixth round. Bishop's looking like he's refreshed for this round. Bombs away with a hook by Meldrick Johnson. Able to get him up against the ropes. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. Nice work, the left hand to the head. The combo lands upstairs. 
That's a fierce left hand that landed by Andre Bishop. Accurate hook. There's another left hand from him. There's the hook. Johnson's in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. Left, right, left, right. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. <laughs> little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Good Ooh. defense, just covering up down low. Hmm. What impact with that uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Combos, combos. He's still not moving enough. Move, move. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. Joe, so in this kind of situation. What a big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Round it up. Oh, I, this show is going to be like 20 minutes. Hard to train for a situation like this. Sometimes you need a little luck. They haven't gotten like it tonight. Minutes, man. This With the way that cut open minutes. Oh, and it's really bothering him. He's starting to blink a little bit. Now he's going to have to really mentally concentrate on putting that out of his mind and letting the corner take care of it and do really what he has to do. It. If Meldrick Johnson can't beat this version of Andre Bishop, one, two, one, what does two. that say? Because there's no doubt about it. Bishop has hurt that right hand. He's winning this fight with just his lead hand. Headshot lands was a hook. Bishop's showing us that hey, he is willing to stick the with the game plan. But Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways I tell him good because you have to go with that's what it. you have. You that's know, you it. can't completely change, but that's not possible in the course of the fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. Fine looking right hand by Johnson. Can't even really throw, I can't throw like a punch. Now another left. Like one punch. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Unload. Long punches. There's that hook to the body. Okay. And Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. Bro, they really let me hit me out the corner. Johnson's the kind of... Wow! Wow! He goes down again! This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. I'm done with this shit. I like the video, man. You like the video. Come on. Peace.